Christina Stevens, the amputee OT, and today I'm going to talk to you about phantom pain and phantom sensations. <laughs> Ever since I've had my foot amputated, I have been able to feel my foot very clearly. I can feel my toes down here and my, my heel and the bottom of my foot and my ankle. Before my foot amputation, I had a lot of nerve pain in my foot. I had a lot of burning feeling in my toes and shocking, stabbing, kind of needle feeling in the rest of my foot. And now that I've had my foot amputated, I barely feel those at all, but I still do feel those pains. And I feel them in my foot, which is weird because I obviously don't have a foot anymore. In my bed with my covers pulled up, I can totally feel my foot as if it's completely there. This, to me, is really fascinating and interesting because it makes me think about the way the brain works. The reason amputees feel phantom sensations and phantom pain in the limb that's no longer there after they've had an amputation is because the map of that limb is still up in your brain. So you still have a map of your brain, or I still have a map in my brain of my left foot, but my left foot is not there. And so my brain does not want to know what to do with that information that my foot is not there, so it basically acts as though my foot is still there. Most amputees experience phantom limb sensation and phantom pains, and some people are really bothered by it because they don't want to tell anyone about it because they think that if they tell people about it, those people will think that they're totally crazy to feel a foot that's not there. But pretty much every amputee experiences it, so you're not crazy if you feel phantom pains or phantom sensations in a leg that you don't have anymore. If you're not an amputee, it might be similar to your phantom phone feelings. If you keep your phone in your pocket so much, you might actually develop a brain map where your brain says, you know, my phone is in my pocket. And what will happen is that if you take your phone out of your pocket and put it on the counter, you will actually feel your phone vibrate when it rings in your back pocket, even though your phone is not actually in your back pocket. If you're an amputee and your friends think you're crazy because you feel phantom pains, then you can maybe use the cell phone analogy and that might help them. The main things that I feel in my ghost foot are burning in my toes and I feel a, a positional sense of my ankle, so I feel like my ankle is pointed down sometimes and I feel like I really, really want to rotate and bend my ankle because my ankle kind of feels stiff and sore like it needs to be rotated and bent, but I can't do that because it's not there anymore. I mostly feel a lot of um, sensation of something being pressed against my ankle on either side, but I can also feel my heel and I can feel the bottom of my foot. Before my amputation, my, the bottom of my foot really felt stiff, like the tendons in my foot were, were tightening up, and I actually still get that feeling now. Thankfully, the pain that I had in my foot that was almost unbearable now I still feel that pain, but it's dulled significantly, so it's, it's now just kind of background noise or, you know, a little slight annoyance. It doesn't really bother me so much anymore, which is something that I'm super thankful for. Another weird thing is that if I press on the bottom of my cast, I don't feel anything on the bottom of my stump. What I feel is feeling on the back of my calf. And the reason for that is because when they give you an amputation, they take the back of your calf and they use your calf muscle as padding for the bottom. So my brain, for 30 years, has, has thought, this is the back of my calf, and now it's the bottom of my leg, but my brain still thinks this is the back of my calf. So I sort of feel like there's an oblivion down there at the end of my leg. I don't really feel a bottom, but in actuality I do feel a bottom, it's just the back has now been reshaped to be the bottom. I can wiggle my ghost toes, at least to me, I feel like I'm wiggling my ghost toes. So I can, if I wiggle my toes like this, I'm actually doing it with both feet. Although it feels a little bit different, but I definitely get the sense of being able to wiggle my toes. I knew a guy who had an amputation right here at his hip, and if he went swimming, he could feel his whole leg. I've heard of some different therapies that people use to try to diminish phantom sensations or phantom pain. But I haven't really seen any that have a whole lot of evidence backing them up. Uh, so I will probably be doing a little bit of research on that in the future and then maybe present the research that I have found. But so far, things like medication and 
counseling and mirror therapy don't seem to have a whole heck of a lot of benefit, so I'm not really sure how useful they are. As of now, it seems like phantom pain is something that amputees just have to deal with. Um, sometimes that prevents them from being able to do a lot of things. My phantom pain is reduced enough that it won't really bother me, and my phantom sensations amuse me, and I think they're really interesting. The first time I took a shower, I tried to stand on this leg. That obviously was not going to work. Thankfully, the shower is small, so I tried to stand on it and went whoop, and put my hand against the wall. I would suggest, if you're a new amputee, definitely getting a shower chair in your shower and trying to keep in mind that you might accidentally forget that you have no foot on the end of your leg anymore. That could be a really huge problem, especially very early on post-surgery. Since I'm in a rigid cast, the chances of me actually hurting my surgical site are pretty low. I think that's one of the main reasons that my surgeon puts the cast on. If you're in a soft dressing, you definitely should be more careful and make sure that you are more aware of your body. And I think it's probably going to happen to every amputee. When I first came home from the hospital, I tried to take off my shoe. I didn't really try to take off my shoe. I wasn't like, oh, why won't my shoe come off? I can't get it off. I was more like, took that shoe off. Oh yeah, can't take that shoe off. I'm not wearing a shoe. All right, that's all I have for now. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that twice because I, I have two endings. Because <laughs> I'm going to make two videos. Okay, guys, I'll have more YouTube videos up later. And feel free to ask me questions. Thanks. Bye-bye. And beauty. They're creepy.